A company known for its excellent performance year after year fails to give projections for the ensuing year and the market witnesses a great crash in its share price. Over last 12 quarters for the VLAMPS, it is one way movement, movement upwards both in revenue and in EBITDA percentage. More specifically during the last two quarters of December and March, there has been substantial improvement as compared to same quarter last year. Revenue for December quarter up by over 46 percent and for March quarter once again the growth is of the order of 41 percent. At the same time there is a growth in EBITDA and the incremental EBITDA is almost three and a half percent between the two quarters coming from favorable revenue mix and a strong operating leverage. This is in spite of input inflation and increase in logistics cost. Of the company's divisions, API segment has faced the intense pricing pressures more specifically in the US market and that has affected its uh, segment performance but great result from custom synthesis division which deals with COVID related drugs and has delivered exceptional growth and profitability. But the big question is with the pandemic subsiding all over the world, can the company repeat this magic? Can it sustain the trajectory going forward? DVS has remained an export based company deriving about 84 percent of its revenues all along from exports. But during the current year, there has been a sharp increase in the extent of exports with the percentage moving up to 90 strongly supported by demand from Europe. Of the 90 percent exports, the company's share largely comes from US in the first place where the share has gone down from 33 to 25.7 over a period of five years from 2017 to 22. During the same period, Europe has moved from 40 percent to 51 percent. Between the two geographies, contribution is 77 percent in aggregate, but Europe is leading by far. Asia contributes 9.8 percent and Indian share in the overall revenue of DVs remains 10 percent and rest of the world contributes the balance. US and Europe as leading geographies call the shots. Divi's lab way back in 2016 embarked on the greenfield project at Kakinada. But till date it has remained a non-starter as there is a stiff resentment from the local communities and also strong demand for relocation of the plant on environmental fears. Government has kept its silence and has been tactfully holding back approval. Chances are that the project may not see the light of the day and this will have implications on the market valuation of the company which already incorporates expected profits from the Kakinada Greenfield project built into the prices. Company has a challenge on hand. Its revenue, profit after tax, total assets and net worth have grown with a CAGR of around 17 percent over last five years. But during the same period, there has been a phenomenal growth in market cap of the order of 42 percent which becomes very vulnerable in the background of excessive exposure to Europe where Ukraine conflict is there and the COVID portfolio of medicines is coming down because of the waning COVID effect. Kakinada is not coming through, input inflation is on and price erosion in US market for API continues and there is a pressure on the capacity utilization which already stands at 85 percent and all this weigh very heavily on the market cap in creating a bearish pressure to bring it to the level which is realistic and on par with the growth in revenue, assets and net worth. There was a trigger from an unexpected angle. The company had a conference call on Q4 earnings and the management expressed its difficulty in giving projections for the next immediate year and in the process the global brokerage house 
rated March quarter as an underperformance, its valuation expensive, and it said rising input costs and restrained margins leave no scope for any upside, and the result was a catastrophe. Post the conference call, in the subsequent four sessions, disastrous impact was seen. The price collapsed and the price fall was supported by heavy quantity and the beast price reached 52 week low before staging a small recovery and that was a destroyer of wealth when investors expected the company's performance to be rewarded with an upward move. I am Vithal Prabhu with the weekly video on stock learning simplified. Hope you will find the video interesting and useful. The Vist Laboratories among the top pharmaceutical companies of India operating out of Hyderabad for over three decades and is into manufacture of generic API and intermediates for pharma MNCs quite reputed, trusted and a well-known name worldwide. The Vist Lab's main strength is in its advanced manufacturing facilities in the two units at Hyderabad and Vishakhapatnam. It's quite reputed and compliant with the US FDA, EU GMP and similar international drug authorities and it has got an unblemished record all these years of maintaining quality, reliability and compliance with impeccable standards. Two major product lines, generic API constituting 41% and clinical supplies management at 59% and it is known for its strong relationship with the global pharma players and that has added to its export portfolio growing year on year. The company has remained quite uh, disciplined in terms of cash flow management with its operational cash flow, working capital management and the operational surplus that results every year and it has used its funds very judiciously in fixed assets for balancing equipments and expansions and the company has a reputation to hold substantial cash balance more particularly during the last two years between 1000 to 2000 crores and the capital expenditure plan has helped the company to achieve self-reliance in its intermediate uh, products with debottlenecking backward integration and regular sizable capex and this flexibility and capacity has great value in the background of the delayed Kakinada project and the company expresses itself in terms of readiness to produce volumes at a short notice. Hope you found this video on the Vist Laboratories interesting and useful. You can access similar videos with rich content at our info card on stock learning simplified we look forward to your likes shares and comments if you are new to the channel may please subscribe and press the bell icon for timely intimation on our forthcoming videos thank you so much for your time support and interest this video is for purposes of information, education and awareness only. This is not meant to be a solicitation or recommendation to buy, sell or hold securities. Wherever applicable, please seek the advice of a competent professional before taking action of any kind.